I'm going to have a quick look at finding the ideal hand position for playing the piano. And the way I've done that, the way I've set this up, is to put my piano stool to portrait mode rather than landscape mode so that I can swing my arm comfortably by my side. Now, when I do that, I'm just aware of how free the arm is and how loose the hand is. And I discover that my hand is actually in the ideal position for playing the piano without my having to do anything other than swing um, and then bring my hand up to the keyboard and land. Now I landed there in my second finger on an E. Um, I could land anywhere else I wanted and discover that the alignment is different each time, each spot I land on the keyboard. See there, there's a, a line going from my forearm through to the second finger at that angle, whereas if I come up here, it's going to be more toward that angle. And, and this is what we need to remember about piano playing, is the ideal is for the forearm to be in a straight line with the finger or the fingers that are actively playing. So we avoid twisting positions like this. And we certainly want to avoid any position where the wrist is low, dropped. Um, it's fine to come up in the wrist as long as we don't drop below this position, because when we do that, we start to pull on the tendons here and it means that we're using fingers in a most uh, tense and unnatural and undesirable way. So here are the here are the pointers. When you practice this exercise and you don't have to switch, if you haven't got the um, capacity to do this with your piano stool, it's fine, you can do it from your lap. But just come up and land. Try pairs of fingers. Try pairs of fingers on black keys. You'll notice there, do you notice how the alignment is different? When I play uh, black keys, I need to be higher up and a little further in than when I play white keys. And if you want to sense that black-white adjustment, the best thing you can do is to take a chromatic scale in, in octaves, double octaves, and just notice. You notice there the adjustments are going to happen at faster not just for slow playing, for fast playing. We need to use the length of the keyboard. This is most important that we don't stick in one uh, spot on the key, that we use the whole length of the key as required. So the easiest scale to play from that point of view is the scale of B major, because my long fingers, two, three, four, go onto the black keys, which are higher up and further away. My short fingers, thumb and pinky, sit very comfortably on the white keys. So I need to make much less of an adjustment up and in. For the B major scale. If I were playing a C major scale um, with my big hand, I wouldn't want that feeling. Do you notice what happens there? In order to accommodate the hand on the keyboard, I have to scrunch up these fingers into a, a curled position and that's tense. I don't like that feeling. So what I would need to do to avoid that is, is to come out. You see how the long fingers, the long fingers, in order to feel comfortable on the keyboard, I need to withdraw here, go back in for the thumbs. And that choreography is, while not particularly accepted in the old school, method of piano playing is very much embraced in the modern thinking about uh, piano technique. A couple of other small things. We try to avoid stretching out in the hand um, so that if we have to move, let's say we need to move from here to here, I close my hand immediately afterwards and you'll probably recognize this study of Chopin. So close up minute then close again. Um, rather than lifting individual fingers like this, which again belongs to old school pedagogy, we tend nowadays to, to think of moving the fingers all together as a unit so we don't lift and isolate. Those are just some small ideas on how to find the ideal hand position. Uh, I'm covering all of this in my technique modules on the online academy and I break this up into easy to digest segments so that, that you will see how this all works and how it all ties together but that just gives you some idea of some of the 
the work that we'll be doing in the technique section.